Happy New Year! Year. Welcome to Crocs in the Kitchen. I'm Jessica. And I am Brian. Welcome to the year 2020. Ooh. It's, it's going to be a good year, I think. I think it's going to be a great year, but we decided that we wanted to do a little video about uh, New Year's resolutions. Yes. That's the big question. What's your New Year's resolution? Now, I'm going to go on a little bit of a, of a, of a rant right oh, now. Oh, boy. Okay. Brian rant. Brian, Brian rant. rant. Yes. <laughs> uh, so I'm not a big fan of New Year's resolutions in the first place. Before, whenever I would like make one, it was always like, well, I guess I should lose weight. So that's what my, my New Year's resolution would be. But uh, it's one of those bad things where you know people are going to do these New Year's resolutions and then inside of a couple weeks, they're probably not going to be doing them anymore. Like so the that, gym's really busy in the beginning of the year. Everyone's hitting the gym and like everyone's ready and pumped up. And then like two weeks in, it's like, oh, there's no one here anymore. Yeah. So they've actually done studies about this, that if you really want to start a New Year's resolution, you should like wait a few weeks and then start it after New Year's. I don't know why, but they say that it works better for people that way. So, I mean, you can you can do that or you can start right off the bat. It doesn't okay. really matter. But, but we, I like to take the time at the end of one year and beginning of the next year to just reflect on everything that happened in that year and then think about like what my goals are for the the year ahead yeah and so yes those in my head do form as resolutions of some sort but i don't know more like goals i would i would say for the, for the next year yeah. But yeah it does feel like it's just i don't know there's something about that when it there, switches over to a new year it's like in a new decade yeah new decade new year but i mean even for me like new year's uh, eve has always been kind of like an action. It's a magical day for me for some reason. It's like the world is starting over again. You know, the, the next yeah. day, it's like your calendar has changed. Everything has changed. It's like, it really is a new thing. It is a new year for new you to, uh, you know, write in the annals of your life. <laughs> So that being said, we're going to talk about a few of our resolutions, goals, whatever you want to call them for the year 2020. Yeah. You so, can go first. okay. You want me to go first? Ugh, gosh. Okay. I would say for me, um, I don't know. It's so weird because I guess this is the first year where I'm not like, I want to hit this weight and do, you know, whatever. I want to lose weight. Like, obviously, yes, I still want to get to what I consider to be my goal weight. Um, which I'm right now like eight pounds away for, from as we're sitting here a few weeks before filming this because we filmed this a few weeks before the new year. But um, so it's not really weight loss for me anymore, which is new. Um, it's more just I want to continue to work on my own like health in general. I, I've done a lot in 2019 to work on my mental health issues. Um, I started going to therapy a few months ago and that has been life changing for me. Um, I've started doing some other things and so I feel like I can do anything and it's just like I'm in this new frame of mind. I'm so much happier. So I definitely want to continue working on that and I want to see where it can take me. I want to challenge myself in ways that like I previously because of the mental state that I was in or you know even physically how i felt i couldn't do i want to challenge myself to do new things and try different things that i haven't done before um you know i want to make sure that i make time for myself because we are so busy um both of us work full-time jobs and then our like third little or our second for each of us little side project is this whole YouTube thing and we love doing this. Yeah. Um, and so I want to continue to do this and grow the channel and just keep, you know, putting out content for you guys, but find, make sure that I'm taking time for myself as well because I need time and, um, I need to do things that are just like completely unrelated to any kind of work or this, or, you know, sharing my life with the world or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think what else my, what else I would want to do in 2020. You go and I'll see if I come up with anything else. All right. So, you know, I'm, I'm still losing weight there. So there's that. That's a pretty straightforward one, but I'm not really counting that as like a resolution. That's more so just a continuance of what I'm already doing. Yes. 
Uh, but I'll, I'm going to go for something a little bit more like just act like tangible, Concrete, something that yes. I can actually like hold on to. Uh, and the first thing that I want to do is, uh, I actually want to record my music. Mm. Um, I've been, I've been saying I've, I've been going to do it for a long time. I've been, you know, wanting to do it. I just haven't really found like the time to do so. And I'm even busier than, than, than normal now, be, you know, with, with all of this other stuff going on. But I've been, I've been getting a lot of encouragement from the people at my church and from the, my bandmates and stuff. And they really, really want me to start recording and actually get an album together. And so hopefully in 2020, the, the Brian Croc album, oh. although I will say, I mean, they're okay. So there is another Brian Croc out there and he's amazing. He's like a super talented musician and check out his, uh, his band, the big heart machine or his other band, little L I D D L E. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, amazing jazz music. Check him out. He's already got albums out. So I can't just keep letting him beat me yeah, on the album. So I've got to make my own. Uh, but, you know, mine's not going to be jazz. Mine will be all of my, yes. like, Christian music that I've written. And so, yeah, that's that's resolution number one for me is okay. that. Um, one that I have for you is that you, and this will, will involve me a lot as well, is the podcast. Yeah. You guys have been demanding the podcast. Yeah, since we mentioned it on a video a while back. And this is the Brian is very soon gonna get together his podcast. And that's yes. that is definitely something that I'm excited because I think that'll allow us to be more interactive with like, you know, having different guests on and do that kind of yeah. stuff. That'll then just like here we are in our little bubble of our kitchen world. Like we'll be able to kind of get a little more interactive with it. Yeah. Uh, let me know in the comments below, like what kind of a podcast you actually want me to do. If you've got some topics that you want me to talk about. Uh, I, I think that it's going to be fairly free flowing and, you know, yes, I will have some guests and stuff is, you know, I can, I can book all that stuff. That's not hard to do at all. Uh, you know, but like topics or things like that, that you really want me to talk about. Cause if not, it's basically just going to be like 30 minutes of me ranting about something, which <laughs> I mean, could very well be entertaining, but, uh, I don't know. But, uh, Jessica has also said that she'll come on the show occasionally yes. with me as well, which will be very nice. Yeah. I'm not going to be on every episode, but I will definitely be on it quite often. Yeah. But I can guarantee you that I'm getting all my YouTube friends to, to, uh, join me on the show. That'll be nice. Anything else? Any other ones? I do have one other like main resolution though okay, that I do kind of want to get to. Um, I like I know I've been doing the weight loss stuff with with just the change in diet, but I feel that it's kind of time for me to actually get to exercising. Yes. Although I don't, I still don't want to go to a gym. I just I don't like the concept of a gym. I'd rather just yeah. like you know go on more walks or you know have some some weights or something that I can yes. I can throw around. Uh, you know, just more stuff like that. I, I want to get into that, my method of exercising as opposed to just going to a gym and running on a treadmill or getting on a bike or something. Yeah, I think we both need to be more active. I think that's definitely on my list too. Um, that was what I was forgetting. Um, for me, it's definitely going to be more dog walks because I just, there's some, it's very like therapeutic for me to go out on walks with my dogs. I just love it. I listen to music. It's, it's a great time. That's actually, that helps me have my like personal time. And that's like time where I'm just not focusing on all the other stuff that I have going on. So I think getting outside and just like, you know, doing that and being more active, definitely that's on my, on my list for 2020. Yeah. Also, I think for the final resolution, and this is just a, you know, another question of like really working out the time and like getting it, getting everything down and all of that. Uh, I really want to cook more recipes. I really want to develop more recipes that we can show you guys and, you know, we can possibly put together in a future cookbook yeah, or something. Yeah, a, cook, a recipe book which would, would be, be really yeah, awesome. Get it, getting, trying to get to that point where I feel that we've got enough good recipes to actually make a cookbook. I think that's a, a solid yeah. goal to do in 2020 because we've already done this and you know it's been a year plus right. since we started uh, the whole food plant-based adventure and so I think the next year we could we could really hammer that home and actually get a cookbook done uh, hopefully in time for Christmas yeah yeah but 
I, I don't really think I've got anything else. I think I mean, those are all good. I think that we have a lot of stuff we can work on together, which is nice. Yeah. Um, we can definitely work on being more active together and the podcast and the cookbook and all those kind of things. And I just, I just want to continue. Like, I feel like we, I mean, I can't tell you how much different I feel now than I even did a few months ago. Um, just because of all the stuff that I've been doing to, to work on, on myself. And so I just want to keep that momentum going. And I'm, this is like one of the first times that I'm super excited to start a new year and see what happens. And that's very powerful for me because there are so many years when I just dreaded, you know, that day when it was like, oh crap, it's like I gotta start a new year and I'm, I've not done anything that I wanted to do in the previous year. And so... I think 2019 has honestly been like one of the most challenging years of my life, but also one, one of the best. best. Yeah. And I think there's something to that. I think it's co overcoming those challenges and doing it together. Yeah. Um, that really makes it all worthwhile and, and makes it like actually more enjoyable. And so, um, yeah, it's just, it's been. I, I just, it's been great. It has been a fantastic year. We've lost weight. We started the YouTube channel. We have, you know, 40,000 plus subscribers now. Like, we've got friends that we've found yes. through YouTube. Lifelong friends our, that we will definitely yes. have. Like, uh, and yes. not, and then on top of that, our marriage has gotten stronger and we've gotten better in practically every way possible, all in all fantastic year for 2019 and I honestly cannot wait to see what happens in 2020. I think it'll be fantastic. But I think that's all we have to say for today. Yep. Uh, <laughs> if you want, please find us on all of the social media platforms, uh, yes. be it Facebook and Instagram. We still love getting all of your messages and stuff on there. Remember, if you send to Facebook, you're going to more than likely get me. If you send the message on Instagram, you will get Jessica. Uh, I don't even see those messages. So, <laughs> Ooh, we forgot to say. Oh. What are your resolutions? Oh, yes, of course. Tell Sorry, jumped the, the gun there below. a little. Yes, please comment below with whatever your resolutions yes. might happen to be. I know even if it's just the standard, you know, you want to lose weight, yeah. you want to get healthy, blah, blah, blah. It, it doesn't matter. The point is that we all kind of gather together as a community to support each other. And, you know, hopefully people can comment on whatever it is that you post. And, you know, we can get a little uh, dialogue going and a little bit of support and encouragement to uh, help everybody out in their New Year's resolutions. Yes. Also, you should resolve to subscribe to the channel and uh, click that bell notification that is right next to it. Yes, I went there. Uh, you will get all of the notifications uh, whenever we post a new <laughs> video. So please do that if My you My resolution to is to subscribe to Crocs in the Kitchen. Yeah, that's a great resolution. That's like the best resolution ever. Uh, so yes, please do that and get all those notifications. And uh, you know, you can, you can get on there and get all the comments on the new videos that we post every single Ooh, time. And Ooh. we're going to have a bunch of like Europe, London, uh, you know, England kind of videos coming up soon. That'll be so fantastic. Definitely want to see those because they're I know they're gonna be awesome. Yep, but I think that is all I got. That's all I got. We will see you next time on Crocs in the Kitchen. Bye. Bye. What do you think Keith's resolution is?